everyone, welcome to the coding channel. Today is the first episode of our Python tutorial series for beginners. And in this episode, we are going to talk about how to install Python and PyCharm IDE. Please and more when we come back. Welcome back to the coding channel Philippines. And uh, now before we can create our, a Python uh, program, before we can start creating our Python program, uh, there are two things that we need to uh, download and install. The first one is the uh, Python installer and the second one is the IDE. Now it's a very simple if uh, to download the um, Python um, installer, just uh, head over to the python.org uh, slash downloads uh, page. And then um, you can see the uh, download button uh, over here. Just have to click the latest uh, version for Windows. So as of this date, uh, August 2021, the latest version is 3.9.6. So after clicking that, it will start uh, downloading uh, for you. And then um, uh, you can see at the bottom part of your screen, okay, uh, like, the, like this one, uh, since I already uh, downloaded my um, Python here, so most probably the uh, dialog box uh, here is different from yours. So uh, all you have to do is just to click the install button there once you um, uh, finish downloading, okay, so to start the installation. And you just have to follow the uh, a series of steps, especially the uh, location where you want to um, install the um, uh, Python, okay. It's either in your uh, drive C or in your drive D, okay, wherever you want to um, install that um, that one. And then aside from that, the next step after you uh, have installed the uh, Python um, installer is to uh, also uh, download the uh, IDE for us to uh, to have an environment to edit and run our um, Python program. Okay, so. Um, you just go to jetbrains.com or it's very easy to type in your um, browser. You just have to type um, uh, PyCharm download, for example, and then you will be redirected to uh, this uh, page. And then there is a professional and then a community of a version. Uh, normally, if you want to, um, this, uh, to use this professional, there's only a one month of free trial. But if you want the, the free version, you just have to select the community uh, uh, download here. Okay, and then it will start uh, downloading. And then uh, same thing, you just uh, need to install after you download. Okay, so now once the uh, Python and the um, PyCharm is, um, are already installed in your um, computer, okay, we are now um, ready to um, edit or create our first um, ever um, program. But aside from Python, I just want to share with you that um, I'm also using um, the Visual Studio Code in uh, editing uh, my Python program. Okay, so this one is also um, um, good if you are uh, if you want to have um, another type of ID. Just click the uh, Windows um, button over here. And then once you uh, finish the uh, download and um, you have already installed in your computer. Okay, so this is the uh, example of Google. Uh, uh, IDE, I mean um, environment of the uh, Visual Studio uh, Code environment. Okay, but in this um, uh, uh, tutorial series, I will be using the um, Python um, uh, IDE. Okay, so if you are uh, a first timer of using Python, so you will see this one. Um, normally, it's a light uh, theme, but in here, I'm just uh, using the um, the dark theme. So if you want to uh, also uh, have a dark theme all you have to do is just to go to file menu and then select settings and then uh, uh, under the editor there is a, a color scheme there okay so this one is a, a twilight scheme but if you want to for example to change to monokai okay if, if you want a, a lighter theme so you can do so okay so later I'll, I'll show you again that one because you cannot appreciate because you know, we we still don't have a, a file here, okay? So our first task is to create the project, okay? That's the first step. So you just have to uh, click the new project. And then within the uh, create project um, dialog box, uh, you just need to uh, change the um, uh, project name there and then the location if you, where you want to uh, save your uh, project. And then the, click the create button. So in my case here, I already uh, created my project. 
So you just have to click the uh, tab on over here, and then um, you just have to, uh, for example, um, if if you already have the project, so the next step is to create a uh, class. So there are two ways on how to do that. You just have to right click the um, in the projects um, a folder. Okay, just uh, right click and then select a new and then file and the Python, I mean Python file. Okay, and then you just uh, need to provide the uh, file name. So for example, if you uh, uh, type there um, example one and then you press the, um, the uh, enter key. Okay, so it uh, will uh, create um, an empty file, for example, like th this one. Okay, so we, ha we now have the uh, example one that uh, py. So py is the file extension of uh, Python, okay. And then um, if you want to uh, have another uh, class, for example, let's say you want to um, create a new uh, two cl class here, so that is also possible, okay. But uh, you can also go to file menu and then select new and then select Python file, okay. And then just have to uh, type in there, for example, example two, then press the enter key. Then after that, you will have another file. Okay, so right now we have now example one and then the example two. Okay, so for instance, if you are uh, new to a programming language, of course, the first thing that uh, we want to know is how are we going to display um, a simple output in console? Okay, so in uh, Python, you just uh, need to use the print um, uh, method here. And then, for example, uh, you want to uh, display welcome. Oh, welcome to Python. Okay, in close with a double quote, and then you don't need to put a uh, semicolon there. Okay, because um, for example, if you are from uh, Java, if you're familiar with Java, if you're using Java prior to using uh, Python, so normally uh, in Java, every statement must end with a semicolon, but in Python, that is not required. Okay, you don't need to put a semicolon there. Okay, so for example, how are we going to run this uh, simple uh, code? Okay, you can um, uh, actually click the um, the uh, green button there, run. But if this one is not yet uh, available, okay, just click this one and then you will see the output. So normally you can see the output over here. Okay, you can adjust that one because I adjusted already. You can select the move to, for example, and then, for example, left bottom. Okay, or uh, if you want to adjust, uh, you want to um, put that one in the bottom left. So normally this one is the um, uh, default um, location. Okay, but uh, in my case, I, I want to uh, put that uh, top. No, no, not top right. It's a um, right top. Okay, and then I, I just um, hide it. Okay, so that because I want to have an, uh, an, an editor to, to type my codes here, uh, I want to have a uh, more space here, okay? So you can do that in uh, Python. Okay, um, what else? So for, for example, um, you have another uh, uh, file, in the example uh, 2.py, and then let's say, for example, we want to um, display um, uh, this time, hello world, okay? And then um, another uh, print, for example, uh let's say mabuhay mabuhay philippines okay so that's it okay now as you can see the active here is example one if you're going to click the uh, green button there you are running the example one okay so how are we going to change to other uh, class okay if you want if you want to uh, run for example the example two all you have to do is just uh, click the uh, tab here and then uh, right click and then um, for example click the run example 2 okay so that's it so we are now running the uh, example 2.py class or file okay and then um, so that's it and then you just have to hide it and then uh, you continue um, typing there okay so let's go back to the um, theme so if you want to change because this one is um, Okay, again, settings. So, for example, so this one is a monokai. So, I normally use the twilight here. If you want to click the apply and then OK. So, this is an example of a, a twilight um, color um, theme there, here. Okay. And if you want to change the font, okay, because normally this one is a smaller font, you know. 
especially if you are discussing something and uh, I just want to show you my code. So I just make it the point that, um, you know, it's readable. So I just have to go to settings and then um, in uh, editor, under uh, of the uh, editor, there is a font there. And you can just select uh, Verdana, uh, whatever a font you like, and then you just have to change, for example, the size there. In my case, I'm using Verdana and 28 size here. Okay, the li line height is 1.2. And then you just have to up click apply and then okay. So, so that's it. That's the basic um, uh, uh, way on how to um, use uh, the uh, um, PyCharm IDE. Okay, let, let me add uh, some uh, comments here. In um, Python, if you want to add a comment, okay, we know comment if you want to uh, document the uh, file, I mean the, the code, if you want to uh, make it more readable, okay, to have an outline, for example. So this one is being ignored by the, um, uh, by uh, Python, if you're going to run or execute the program, okay, you just proceed your text with a number sign or uh, the hashtag sign and then for example um, i just uh, want to put that the following code is an output um, statement okay so that's it that's the um it's sim uh, single line comment okay you can uh, put actually here okay also just to proceed with the number sign and then another for example another um output statement okay output uh, statement that's it. So if you're going to run, okay, so you can see uh, the um, this text, these uh, comments are uh, ignored by uh, Python. You can't see the output here, okay? And then um, aside from the single line comment, there is what we call the uh, multi-line or multiple line comment, okay? And you always have to, uh, you know, proceed it with the uh, double code, the three double codes, the begin and end, and then you can put here, for example, this is a um, multiple uh, line or multi-line comment in Python. Okay, so that's it. And then if you want to press the enter key, okay, so you have now a um, multiple line comment here. Okay, and then this one is a single comment. Okay, so that's it. And then aside from that, uh, just to give you a, um, um, a, um, a little bit of background, okay. In uh, Python, when it comes to variable, unlike in uh, Java, that uh, every time we declare a variable, we need to have, uh, of course, to declare it's a data type. If it's an integer, if it's a floating point, if it's a, um, a string, or if it is a Boolean type, okay. In Python, um, for example, if we have a... A, a number okay variable or let's talk about the variable okay the a variable is a uh, created once you assign a value to it so for example so this number is an integer once you assign 5 to to the variable number okay and you don't uh, need to put uh, again a semicolon there that is not uh, required so again so this is now an integer uh, a variable okay so that's uh, how simple it is. What else? Uh, if you have another um, number, for example, a num, okay, and then you assign, for example, a 90.6. So this one now is a floating point um, uh, variable or a float uh, variable having decimal points, okay? Or if you have uh, an output, for example, there, and then you wanna uh, put a, a string there, uh, let's say, for example, um, what uh, what string? For example, um, uh, the uh, the largest. Okay, for example, that one. Th that is a string. Okay, so this one is a string variable. Okay, okay, so that's it. So that's how uh, variables are uh, being created in Python. Okay, so that's why it's very easy. It's very simple uh, compared to. Um, uh, other programming language like um, Java, okay? That's why uh, Python is ideal for uh, a, um, a freshman, okay? For um, a new to uh, programming, okay?
Now, in naming of variables, there are actually uh, three different uh, techniques that we can uh, use in uh, Python. Okay, um, I'm sure that uh, you normally uh, uh, do this, but you don't know the the name, you know, of that uh, technique. Okay, so let's say, for example, uh, we have, um, for example, first, okay, first number, let's say we have a uh, five. So this type of... Um, uh, a variable name having the first word all in lowercase and then the the first letter of each uh, succeeding word is capitalized or uh, uppercase so this one is an example of a camel case a uh, technique okay a camel uh, case okay what else aside from that um for example if you uh will use for example my my variable Okay, sorry. Hmm. My uh, variable type. Well, for example, you have that kind of uh, name. Okay, so uh, what's the difference? In here, every uh, first letter of each word is uh, capitalized. So we call this uh, technique as a Pascal uh, case. Okay, and then uh, another, if uh, normally, it's a uh, very hard to to read um, the words without space, right? But uh, you cannot do that. You cannot put this, uh, space here. In uh, that is um, illegal, okay? Or is you will have a syntax error if you will do it. So that is why you can um, actually use another way. Uh, let's say first, and then uh, you'll use an underscore, and then uh, for example, the first uh, number, the underscore of first number, first. Uh, for example, first number, and then that's it. And then you just have to uh, put there, for example, six. In here, variable type, you know, for example, an um, output. So that's it. So this one is um, an example of a snake case. Okay, so th that's it. That's uh, how we um, uh, name our variables. Either you use the camel case, okay? Either you use the Pascal case or the snake case, whichever you're comfortable, okay? But in my case, I normally just use the um, uh, the first, I mean this one, the camel case, okay? So that's it. That's the basic um, uh, syntax in um, of a uh, Python uh, when it comes to the uh, comment, okay? And then when it comes to displaying the output, and also when it comes to uh, declaring and initializing the variables in the data type. These are just the basic data types. There are other data types that we will be uh, uh, we will discuss in our uh, next episode. So these are the uh, uh, source code for and this that's episode. all for today. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, show your love through comments and favorites. God bless and thank you for watching.